Hi guys and welcome back to episode 15 and what will be the final episode of the series of, well of the season I should say, um, not of the series, um, for my Football Manager 2018 series with Fair Walk. Now, obviously I said I was going to play a couple of games off camera just because we'd won the league, so I've done that. Um, this episode, well, I'll show you the, the goals from those games and we'll go into the Junior Cup final and the Challenge Cup final as well. Um, bit of news to tell you before that, and that is that we're missing a right back. Yeah, um, Perry decided that he was going to be a smart arse and give me cheek and said that um, basically he wanted to move to a bigger club and that um, he was too good for it. Um, I did praise him after one of his previous performances and he basically came to me and said basically bugger off <laughs> was the general gist of it. Um, and so I thought I mean all this combined and then he came and requested a transfer um, because he wanted to be played in a more natural position. Now he is a right back um, so I don't understand why he wanted to be played in a more natural position than right back which is what I was playing him. Um, but I just said to him well you know what I've had enough of you. That's maybe th two or three times you've come to me where nonsense, you know, no one else has been coming to me saying, I want to leave, I want to do this, I want to do that. Off you go. We don't need that kind of atmosphere in this club. So he's gone and what I've done is I've promoted uh, young Daniel Smith from the youth team. So he will be taking his place. Um, never played before so far, so we will see how it goes with him. You see, I'm not having that from a, a youngster. Um, not at this level, you know, no prima donnas at this level, we just need to get a decent side in, in and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, let's take a look at both the Fletching 2 and the Skin Tell games, um, both of which we lost, fair enough, but you will see the team I was playing, Stevens, Perry, Fraser, Walsh, Adams, Davis, Norman, Jones, Baker, Massey, Rowland and Chambers, um, you, know, you know, that was a fairly youthful team, <laughs> let's just put it this way. There wasn't one man over 17 years old uh, playing those games. So I just really thought that it was um, it was worth playing the youngsters, giving them experience, seeing how we do. And then we we won the league anyway, so it didn't really matter. Um, our goal in this game was Nathan Chambers. Um, it was a a fairly scrappy goal from what I remember, if I'm remembering this rightly, it was just a, I basically scored it from on the line, <laughs> uh, but it was his first goal for the club so I think it's important to show you this because I'm not going to show you their goals um, because I think that would be unfair to the, the defenders simply because they were young and some of the defending was very 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 amateurish. Um, so yeah I'll show you this goal, um, the Nathan Chambers goal. It, was a fairly scrappy one from what I remember. It was Jones down the wing with a good run, a great run actually. Ball into the box, headed over and yeah, just Chambers on the line, pretty scrappy, but it was a goal nonetheless. So that's that's that. Don't really want to go into the other game as well, the Skane's Hill game. As you can see it was just pretty much the same team. Um I think the Dines came in um and we just switched things about a wee bit. But again to no avail, we lost 1-0, we move on. So on to today's game guys, the first of the two games today, the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup Final against Crawley United. Now their manager has been giving me an awful lot of stick in the press, so I just really want to stick it to them today. So we've gone with a full strength team, we've got Taylor in next, back four Smith, Adams, Sinclair and Bennett. Midfield we've got Webber and Hawkins and we've got Moore, Hayes and Duane behind Carly Lawton. On the bench, we've got two of our new sign, uh, well, one of our new signings, I should say, in Charlie Allen. Um, now he looks like a decent enough midfielder. Um, he used to be on the books of Brentford, Gillingham, Notts County. Um, there was probably all his career highlights. So yeah, I'm still swinging over Charlie Moon whether t he will eventually take over Cully to Lawton. But Lawton's doing well. He he deserves to be in the final he's, for what he's done this season. His record this season is phenomenal for us. Um, I mean, y you just can't argue with what he's done this season. I mean, we've got, you know, 16 goals, sorry, 10 goals in 16 games in the league, 17 goals in 27 overall. That's impressive. I'm, 
it's just really impressive for a guy um, who's 20 years old. So what we'll do is we'll get right into this game. First cup game of the day. Trolley United. Let's get into them. Let's bring the trophy back. Let's make it a double. First highlight of the game. It's Moore in the, the corner. Headed by Sinclair. There's Webber. Hayes. Stopped by Turner. Smith with the throw. Giving it away poorly. And a long ball forward by them. Pickering. Hewitt. Wickenden. It's a new one on me. It's a good ball to Pickering though. And they're going to score. Oh, good save, Taylor. Well done, that man. Adams. To take a wee throw. Down to Hayes. Webber. Hayes. Hawkins. Oh, poor. Sinclair with a long ball forward. Just hoofed in there. And comes to nothing. We pick it up again. It's Adams. A wee ball over the top looking for Carlito. Lawton! Oh. Should have been. Pickering with a free kick. Plays it over. Headed clear. Pickering picks it up again. And very close from them. Crawling out to looking dangerous on the attack. To be whipped in by Adams. And it's a goal! It's Oani! Malik Oani has scored a goal. That has put Fairwalk 1-0 up in this final. What a finish that was. It was a good ball over by Adams, a youngster. And there was Uwani. First time. Boom. 1-0. Free kick. Moore to Weber. He's going to strike it straight at Turner. But they pick it up in midfield. But Weber comes in. Good tackle. It's Uwani now. With a long ball forward. Looking for Carlito Lawton. Who's away. Can he put, play the ball in? He has. And it's Moore. At the back post. It's 2-0. And all of a sudden, this looks comfortable. It was a fairly drab start to the game, but two goals in the last five minutes before half time have made it fair up to Crawley United nil. In the second half, now they've got a throw. Hewitt with it. Stewart plays it long and high, and we don't deal with that well, and they've got a penalty. And all of a sudden, this game could be turned on its head within one and a half minutes of the restart. Scores and it is 2-1 now. All of a sudden, this is looking a very different game. Good penalty to be fair to him. Straight from kickoff. I don't like it when these highlights come because it normally means that we lose a goal. Either way, ball played forward and Pickering's onto it. And Pickering slams the ball over. Throw in, Smith with it. Here's Uani. Back to Smith. To Weber. Nice play here, Hawkins and Allen and Moon brings out a good save from the goalkeeper. As the time's ticking on, we've got seven minutes to go now, plus stoppages, and Adams with the ball. Well intended by our Adams, they're both called A Adams, which is excellent. Um, long ball looking for Moon, but he's not going to get there. Cleared by the goalkeeper, only as far as Weber, to Hawkins. Ball to Uani now, what can he do? Good ball, oh it's gone in! It's Stuart, the, their goal scorer has now put the ball into the back of their net. It's 3-1 fair warp. It was a ball in from Uani which was dangerous and Stuart was just forced to place the ball into his own net. So having scored at one end, Stuart has now scored at the other. And that is excellent. That's a double for us on the season. Um, first, of, uh, second trophy after the league obviously and then we've got the third cup coming up after this so I'm utterly utterly so happy with this um, we deserved it on balance of play there wasn't much play in the second half to be fair but what little uh, happened apart from their penalty uh, we had it so if you like to look at the fans look at those fans up there there's about three or four of them but they're all standing there with their Arms held high and oh, they're delighted. Look at them, utterly delighted. So, and it's for them that we're doing it here. You know, we're trying to grow this club, and this is a good way of doing it um, to win a league and cup double and the possibility of a treble. But the Mid Sussex Junior Cup, there we are. There's the fantastic animation again um, as Fair Warp and the, the fake confetti thing that's coming down. Wonderful. Oh, another great day for the fans, but it's not over yet, guys. 
it's not over yet because there's the second cup final to come and we will get back with you right at that game so the Brian Hall Challenge Cup final is upon us now I've been looking at a fair warp in general just the the town the city or I say it's town it's a village um, and just the general atmosphere of the, the place it seems like a nice wee village um, you know they seem very much up on their fates and stuff like that so yeah, it just seems like a, a mid-Sussex village in general that um, their football team is a big part of that so I quite like this idea and hopefully we'll be able to build them up to at least a very good team if not world beaters so in goals for this game we've got um, Nick Taylor and uh, right back We've got Daniel Smith, left back with Adrian Adams, two centre halves, we've got Matthew Bennett and Tony Sinclair. Defence midfield, uh, sitting and we've got Bobby Webber, then we've got Jack Hawkins in front of him. Three behind the striker are Lee Moore, Reese Hayes, and Malik Wani. And we've got Carlito locking up front. Starkey has come onto the bench um due to an injury to see in the last game. Um so to Fraser. So it's Starkey Hogg Moon. Chapman and Allen on the bench. So let's get into Skeens Hill 2 as part of the Brian Hill Challenge Cup and let's make it a historic treble for Fair Warp. It's taking 15 minutes to get the first highlight. It's Carter. Back to Turner. Long ball forward. Webber intercepts. Hawkins to Uani. Uani to Lawton. Lawton, good ball to Hayes. And we've lost out. and But we've won it back. Lawton's won it back. Hayes. Loses it, oh my goodness me. Hayes again, good ball to Moore. Bad touch there from Moore and Flamin can come away with it. And Zagdoniak. Long ball forward and Smith, oh no, what have you done? Oh my word. Oh, oh dear me. Sometimes these defenders at this level give you heart attacks. Anyway, here's Smith. A terrible ball forward actually, to be honest. Smith, ball to Moore, to Hawkins, Hayes, poor play by Hayes but Weber picks it up well, into Hayes, good ball to Moore, back to Hayes, pulling the strings in the midfield, Lawton, Hayes, Uani, looking for Moore, great ball back, Uani, yes, 1-0, come on Fair Warp, that's his stuff, good bit of passing manoeuvre there, on the edge of their box, Great interchange, we ball back in and Uwani slams the ball home. It's 1-0 fair warp guys, come on. Free kick, it's Bingham with it. To Z Ooh, that guy with a funny name, Zydenik, I think we'll call him. So free kick, French with it, well over the bar. Half time is upon us and fair warp looking fairly comfortable. 1-0 at half time. Into the second half now, Smith with the throw. And again, it's Hawkins to Hayes. Oh, should have been. What a chance for Hayes. His goal scoring form, that was a great chance. And they've got a free kick. Bingham swings it in. Header. Great save by Taylor. But it's offside, so it's a goal, uh, free kick to us. Carter with a free kick. Hit long and deep. Smith with the ball. Long ball forward to Lawton. Great control. But he loses out and Will Williamson takes over. To Mannings. Fleming. Good play by Bennett intercepting the but a shocking ball forward. And Bartlett. Good tackle. Here's Hawkins to Weber. Oh dear. This is just so scrappy. It's going to end up in a goal, isn't it? Mannings through. And good save by Taylor. Scrappy, scrappy play in the midfield there, though. I don't normally do three subs because I quite like that. Um, but we'll leave it as the two just now. Zydnik, good tackle. Lawton. Well done as we come away with it, but Carter still with possession. Hayes to Moore. Good ball to Lawton. Can he do something before he goes off? Hot plays it through to Hawkins. To Uani. Great ball cross. Moore! Yes, it's 2 0. And look, uh, Lee Moore, the back post again, making it, scoring the second goal. He did the same in the last game, and Lee Moore. What a finish. Proceed with the tactical changes after this goal. Yes, please. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make one more tactical change because 
I just feel that the game is won. So Hog can come on for Taylor. I think it's nice to give um, a youngster a, a go in a final once you feel you've already won it. So just giving him a, a game in goals and um, bringing Taylor off. I feel it's the right thing to do for the youngster. Sinclair with a free kick. Hawkins to Allen. Allen to Moore. To Moon. It's poor. Flaming. Free kick and it's a throw in now for them. Manning's on the ball. On ball forward, but Bennett. Oh, Bennett's lost it. Oh no, here we go. Oh, I thought that was the, the moment. Just when you get these moments with defenders. Smith, Uani, ball across. Here's Allen. Oh, what a strike and what a save. Uani offside for the follow up. Three minutes of added time have been announced. As Allen could have got on the end of that, but doesn't. Now they've got a chance to counter. Zydonic. Good tackle by Allen. It's Moore. Into Hawkins. Can he play through it to Moon? Good save, goalkeeper. Smith. Uani. Can he flick it? Back to Smith. To Weber. To Uani. Hawkins. Allen. Good chance. Good ball. Moon. Moore. Ah. Oh. Powder puff. Absolutely powder puff. But that will pretty much be that, guys. It's a famous treble for Fair Warp. And we even managed to get the young goalkeeper on to sample the, the cup winning mentality here. This is excellent. That's been a league win and two cup wins this season. That in our first season is incredible. Um, it's almost that was from, from here, I think. And there yet again is the wonderful um, animation, if you can call it that, in inverted commas. But who cares? We're happy. We won the game. That's the main thing. That's all that matters. And that will bring an end to this episode and also this season. It's absolutely brilliant, guys. just want to um, quickly just touch on what we're going to be doing moving forward. As I said, we better change the pace to the series. Instead of playing every game on camera, I'm going to play maybe one game a month um, just to try and speed everything up a bit. Just to look at the finances of the club. I mean, after those games, the overall balance, 10,000. We've done fairly well just with the gate receipts going up, etc. Really happy with that. Um, so, I mean, £10,000 is not you know, a huge deal. But, I mean, 9700 of that was gate receipts. So... That's excellent, and match the income as well, helping majorly. So, you know, hopefully we're putting the the things in place to move onwards and upwards through the divisions, and hopefully, um, just before we end this episode, guys, annual end of season awards taking place. Uh, fans play the season, Lee Moore by far. An absolute fucking cakewalk from Lee Moore. Um, Stuart Cobb gets a goal of the season, um, and we can see that here if we just load this up. This was a game against AFC Hurst 2. I have to say I can't remember this, but we'll play it and see. Because right, we had Lewis Hamilton and, and Calver was in goals. God almighty. So Lawton picks up the ball. Ball to Hawkins. He plays it outside to Moore, who turns, passes into Cobb, whacks it. What a goal! What a finish that was. And yeah, so that's the goal of the, the season, guys. Uh, signing the season, Malikouani on a free transfer. Again, I thought he he's played excellent since he's arrived. He only arrived, you know, start of the season, or not the start of the season, midway through the season. But he's done really well in his time with us, the Italian. Um, Carlito Lawton, young player of the season. Again, very happy with his contribution. Hopefully he'll do well next season. Um, maybe increase... His rating with the fans as well. Um, season review, blah blah blah. Average attendance twenty three. Average attendance twenty three. So, technically speaking, we have used more players 
throughout the season than we have had fans on average. Well, that is interesting. So in the season team meeting, discuss plans. Uh, congratulations to get promoted, fantastic achievement. Uh, what does it know that keep faith in the squad? The table finish next time round. So exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Excellent guys. Couple of guys demotivated, but most of them pretty much motivated. I'm quite happy with that confidence review. Yeah, they're all fairly happy um, with me. So, yep, quite happy to remain. Um, season injury report, not had that many. Um, pretty good, it's just all been kind of weak. We Nixon that here and there. Uh, you know, training the training at this stage isn't really that important because the players aren't great, the facilities aren't great. Um, but you know, I think overall we are doing quite well. So pre-season date. What should I go for? Okay, pre-season last four weeks. We'll go middle for diddle, completely. So with that guys, that will conclude this season. Um, I will see you guys back for the new season. Really looking forward to it, really buzzing for the second season. Now as I said, we're going to change it up a bit and it's going to be more one game per month type thing that we're going to be showing um, and, and just all the goals from the other games. I think, I hope you'll appreciate that just to try and speed it up a bit, try and um, get through the seasons quicker and also try and get higher up because uh, obviously we're now going to be playing in the uh, 28th tier. Uh, sorry, 28th tier. Shut up, Ian. The 21st tier. So, you know, playing in the 21st tier is going to be harder than playing in the 22nd, but it's also more rewarding. So hopefully we'll be able to build on that um, and as we go forward, gradually improve the squad. So hopefully you're on board with this, guys. Loving um, seeing people viewing the, the, the videos. E even if you're not liking it and subscribing you know it's just nice to see that some people are actually watching this um i don't expect you know to get subscribers i don't expect to get likes i don't expect to get anything it's always nice if you do um but for me it's just sharing the journey with you guys um whoever watches this at any point um is really really special for me um so hopefully i'll see you all guys in the second season and until then Hope you have a good one.